Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome back to Takanyo Emergent Biopark in Jurassic World Evolution, a project where we're working on building a biologically accurate dinosaur park and preserves with the use of mods. Before we get started, as always, uh, mods are not officially supported by Frontier, so if you want to mod your game, please do so at your own discretion. Now with that intro out of the way, let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. And today we're going to be introducing the first non-dinosaur prehistoric creature to our park. So this is going to be the Dinosuchus, which is, of course, one of the largest um, extinct crocodilians that is, one of the largest crocodilians of all time, in fact. A really, really interesting creature and one which is definitely one of the more uh, infamous of the giant crocodilians because it was tremendously large and probably was capable of killing and eating most large dinosaurs within its region, which would have included things like large hadrosaurs, potentially even things like albertosaurs and, you know, crazy things like that. So these were big, big creatures that were really, uh, you know, easily reaching up to 40 feet or so. Big, big animals. Um, they really only um, were, you know, potentially beaten in terms of like size by other extinct crocodilians such as Purosaurus, maybe Sarcosuchus, um, things like that. But those all lived in different time periods and different parts of the world. So, you know, like right in this part of the world at this time, you know, which would have been the United States and the Cretaceous and the Western Interior Seaway, which was the kind of shallow ocean that used to run kind of right through North America, which is really quite cool. Um, these guys were really kind of the top dogs. Like, they had incredible bite forces, just powerful, powerful animals. And seeing one in real life would have been absolutely incredible. <laughs> uh, the mod itself is made by uh, three different people, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, so it was created by Joseba, I believe, and then... Uploaded by Petito777. I'm not sure which whether they're the same person or whether they've been made um, together or something like that, so I'm not really sure. But the model and texture itself, uh, I believe, was made by Luca, who made it kind of more accurate, the real creature. And I think it looks really, really good in game. Uh, I love the coloration of it. It's like a nice um, kind of pale grey, whitish color. Um, texture is really nice. It looks like a... It looks enough like a modern crocodilian to make it feel really real, but then it looks different enough that I think um, it also carries that kind of prehistoric feel to it and really shows that, you know, crocodilians haven't changed an awful lot throughout prehistory, but still look, you know, just slightly different in, in some interesting ways. So that's quite cool, I think. I just think overall it was a great mod and I was very happy to include it, and especially as our first non-dinosaur. Um, as far as the habitat goes, I wanted to build down in the lake itself because there was already kind of like a viewing area up there which I built just for, you know, to view across the lake and I thought I might as well put a habitat down here. And I'm starting to realize maybe I can actually build more stuff along the lake itself by just uh, flattening out some land and stuff like that. So that's something we might do um, in future videos. But I think overall it looks quite nice. I use a lot of rock work to hide some fences. There's a fence across the water itself, of course, to prevent the crocodilian from getting out because um there is a like guest resort not far down the other way so you do not want the the animals getting out that way added some actual water on the top from which the dinosaurs can drink because the lake water is not actually considered by the game to be the same type of water and i'll show that in the live section later um it's a little bit interesting how the two different types of water are like handled by the game's engine so i thought that was quite interesting I'm adding in some foliage and stuff, but this, this habitat is primarily just water so that we get some of the really cool shots of the dinosaurs. Because of course they can't swim because they're based on the Nodosaurus rig, I believe. Um, and none of the dinosaurs in the game can swim because we don't have deep water. But seeing them kind of walk, so to speak, under the water looks like it's just a really cool effect. And you can see them from the top and I think it looks pretty cool. So I, I think it ends up looking quite nice. A lot of fallen logs and stuff across the habitat just to provide some like interest and stuff like that. Again, primarily rock work here that's going to really sh um, make the habitat shine a bit more. And uh, as far as fencing goes, we use the invisible fence around the outside and also around all of the rock formations so that the dinosaur just doesn't clip through them. 
But I've noticed the Dinosuchus has a bit of an issue where it clips to other Dinosuchuses, like, really way more regularly than most uh, other dinosaurs, so I'm not really sure why that's the case. Maybe it's just because it has that long tail, which the Nodosaurus didn't, so maybe it doesn't recognize that, but I'm not 100% sure. And that's always been a bit of an issue with uh, Jurassic World, is that the dinosaurs always kind of clip together with, um, between one another, so, you know, I'm not I'm not overly fast, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, um, we're coming up to the, the end of the, uh, the time lapse now. The only uh, other things we're going to do here is just add a bit more uh, foliage, uh, add the viewing area and clean up some of the the kind of unflattened edges. And yeah, with that being said, I will uh, catch you guys in the live section of the game. See you then. Okay, here we are in the game, and as you can see over here, this is our Dinosuchus habitat, just on the side of the lake right here. And I think it looks pretty nice if you ask me. It looks like a, a bit, um, you know, it's, it's kind of an interesting one. It's definitely not quite like any of the other habitats. It's got a lot more rock work, and the sides are a little bit more, like, jaggedy and not super, like, um, you know, straight or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think it ends up looking pretty nice. I like all the fallen logs, I like the amount of water. The fish look really great, of course, thanks to Zach's um, mod there. Really nice on that. The the dinosaurs themselves look really nice. Um, I'm not getting any skin variation for them, and I'm not really sure why. It seems to be an issue with the mod itself. Um, they also clip into each other all the time, which is weird. But um, otherwise, the mod itself is amazing. I really, really do really like it. Uh, of course, it's really tricky to do crocodilians and stuff in Jurassic World Evolution because, of course, um, you don't really have the right rigs for them. In this case, the Nodo, the Nodosaurus is used, I believe, and as you can see, it means the crocodile is raised a little bit too far off the ground, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm loving this new version of it created by um, uh, Luca, I believe. I will double check that in a second, but... I think it looks really nice. The the skin ends up looking really good. The um, textures are really nice. And um, yeah, overall, just a big fan of it. Especially with the skull. It just looks really unique and I think kind of sets it apart from just looking like an another crocodile. So I think it's a really nice looking creature. And it's nice to have a non-dinosaur in the park as well. Really, everything we've included so far have been dinosaurs. Um, we haven't even included the aviary yet, so definitely everything has been a dinosaur so far, except for this, uh, this Dinosuchus here. So I'm a big fan of how that looks. They also look pretty cool here in the water. I wish they had swimming animations, but of course that's not something we can do in the game. But I think they look really great. And uh, this habitat's pretty nice for them. I really like how they look here when they're in the water. And you can just... Well, not when they do that, that's a bit weird. But um... Yeah, just seeing them kind of go through the water like this is really quite cool. Just sort of seeing them from the from the top. The lake water here is, um, according to the game, not actually water, which is really interesting. Um, this over here is what the water tool looks like when you place it down, and this is just the lake water. So it looks kind of nice that we have the two different types. It looks like this is like deeper water, so I think it looks pretty cool. And we see them just having a little chomp. But a uh, great work from the mod authors again. I believe there's a few people involved. Joseba, Petito777. Is that even the number? I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. But the link will be in the description. And of course, Luca for this model and texture. But overall, really great stuff here. Big fan of the, the mod. And I think it's nice to have this little habitat down here that you can view from a couple different angles as well. Um, This area over here is a long strip, which I don't really expect people to walk down without anything on the side. So I might include another habitat somewhere here. Maybe something else that could do with a lot of water, not sure yet. This area is also quite empty, so maybe something that links these uh, these empty spaces together would be quite cool. But yeah, we have a lot of options. And of course, up here we've got plenty of space, and I might even eat into the lake a bit more and start building things on the sides here, so that, you know, we have just more space to build with. But uh, yeah, so, you know, we haven't done all of these live ones in a, in a few weeks. Let's just have a look through and see what the park is looking like. So if we go right up here, I believe we can see um, 
a pretty decent view of the park. Yeah, there we go. So you can, if you go on this mountain ridge, you can really see. So right at the end over here, we have the operation center. You go down, you have some of the concavenator habitats, Despleosaurus, the two raptor habitats. Right back to that starting area with the Myosaur and Boreal Pelta and stuff like that. Then down here with the main high street, the Compi habitat you can see with that little circle there. The big herbivore habitat over here um, with the Almosaurus and the, you know, the other like Cretaceous herbivores. The Belores, Almoxis habitat all over there. The little resort area down here, which I really like still. Um, oh, I just noticed, uh, need to fix that path a little bit. I think it's a little bit deformed, so I'll go sort that out at some point. Um, the T-Rex habitat over here, um, just over there, it looks really good. The big Morrison Jurassic habitat over there with the Apatosaurus, Seismosaurus, etc. You can just about see them here too, it's so big that you can see them from this distance. And then of course we have the coastal Omasaurus habitat that we built uh, just two episodes ago. Actually no, last episode. And the Allosaurus habitat as well. Yeah, it's been really fun building this park, you can see the monorail going around. It looks all quite nice, and I'm very happy with the, the progress that we've been making so far. I think it just looks really quite cool, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still very happy to continue building with this park. As you can see, we just got so many cool cool mods and stuff that we've been featuring, and I'm happy to keep featuring the mods because we keep getting really good ones. Uh, one which I've been meaning to feature and has recently been released is uh, Zack's Dino Kairos, which is based on the Spinosaurus model with really good feathering so I'm really keen on introducing that and I might put it over here somewhere so that could be quite cool and if I'm not mistaken uh oh no I am mistaken so I thought we could actually build back here but I believe the map actually cuts off yep there it is um but we should be able to build some other spaces like really like we got actually quite a lot so if we flatten some of these areas right up here we could definitely make more use of the space. Like all this is buildable area if we just flatten it out. So we really have more than we think. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the cinematics that are going to come up after this. Um, if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, please do subscribe. Uh, do like the video if you did like it. Do comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in this part. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.